Hey beauties, today I wanna to talk about your liver, which is a very important organ for our overall well-being, our health, our beauty. Your liver is your main fat burning organ. It is a critical detoxifying organ. And when our livers are overloaded, it means that we're not going to feel and look our best. It's very, very simple. And it means our liver could use a little extra love. So I wanna give you a very quick self quiz. You can just answer these questions to yourself and see if any of these pertain to you. Do you wake up every morning with a stuffy nose? Do you find yourself with very offensive body odors like bad breath or BO, which we all have to an extent, but super bad? Do you have a strong addiction to sweets? Do you find yourself having frequent stomach aches and bloating? Do you have a lot of digestive distress? Do you constantly fight fatigue? Do you feel mentally dull and lose your train of thought? So it doesn't mean there can be many reasons for these different symptoms occurring but if there's three or more that are sort of speaking to you something that we want to look at is our toxicity load in our bodies because the toxicity that comes from the outside world um, which we'll talk about in a moment the, the major sources can really impact organ function and especially our livers which again are filtering and processing so much of this toxicity from the outside world so we want to give our liver more love and oh first i have a couple facts here i pulled for you this comes from radical beauty um, the exciting part is that um, the cells in our liver can turn over as little as 150 to 500 days so even if we've lived a life that isn't completely clean or there's things in our lifestyle or food or whatever as we start to clean that up and make some conscious choices we can actually really help to rehab our liver and that's that to me is super, super exciting. It's gonna help clean our blood. It's going to give our liver more support and therefore our overall wellness and our health and our energy. So I have a couple tips for you today um, in this regard specifically. The first one is to stay away from high protein diets. This is going to help your liver, your overall toxicity level reduce dramatically. And that is because of the fact that too much protein puts a tremendous amount of burden on your liver and also on your kidneys. Uh, the USC uh, Longevity Institute reported that Americans are eating twice as much protein or more than they should. Too much protein puts a tremendous, again, burden on your liver. It also really increases the toxic load in our system because unfortunately, toxins bioaccumulate as you go up the food chain. So um, that's something that we're dealing with as well. Another uh, way to give your liver some more love is to limit medication. And now we all, not all, but sometimes there's periods of our life where medications are really a lifesaver and they're very, very critical and, and important. And I have respect for Western medicine as well. But anytime we um, you know, can rest and rehydrate and have a banana, have some potassium and some B vitamins instead of automatically popping Tylenol every day, anytime we can avoid some of the over-counter medications and try to go the natural routes that's going to be uh, beneficial for our liver so it doesn't have to process all those, um, all those different substances that we put into our system. So third is walnuts, avocados, and beets are really fantastic liver foods. Um, They're high in glutathione. <laughs> Glutathione, very hard for me to say. Um, you can check it out in the transcript below. I'm gonna put it in there. But this is an important compound which helps your liver to filter out wastes and acids. So again, walnuts, avocados, beets, you can throw them in salads, you can roast the beets, you can have avocado wraps like I do almost every day or massage them in your Dharma's kale salad. Um, these are fantastic ways to get them into your system. Walnuts are also really high in omega-3 fats, which are great for supporting your liver, also reducing inflammation in our system and just supporting over, over um, organ functionality and efficiency overall. Beets are high in cleansing fiber and flavonoids. They help to cleanse the colon. There is a relationship between the colon and the liver. And lastly, I want to say to try my Radical Beauty Liver Tonic. So this, of course, comes from my Radical Beauty book. If you don't have it yet, please check it out. This is a book I co-authored with Deepak Chopra. Lots of different lifestyle measures. Um, so this is a wonderful anti-inflammatory liver supporting cleansing uh, drink that you can have any time of day. I'm gonna put the recipe below in the transcript. I'm gonna read it here. It's one inch of ginger sliced, half a lemon, the juice squeezed in, some two teaspoons of coconut nectar, a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, 
filtered water and a pinch of cayenne pepper and a pinch of black pepper. So this is gonna help rejuvenate your system, start to unlodge toxins. Um, again, it has an anti-inflammatory, a cleansing effect. And as we start to peel more of those toxins out of our system, the more um, easier it is for our liver to function day in and day out. Also making choices, as I mentioned, how we eat, how we live. This is gonna support your liver long-term and you will start to feel more and more amazing and of course have more of a glow and more energy as your liver gets more love. So I hope that these tips were helpful to you. If this video was interesting or if you know anyone that would benefit from this, please do forward to friends and family members and share the love. Um, it's a great way to support the community. And I send you so much love. Thank you, Beauty, for, for walking the path together. I'm very honored to be with you. I send you so much love, and I will see you back here very soon.